My name is Lady Talise Bell. I am the voice and the mind behind a werewolf. I'm here at Hippie Hollow Park in Austin, Texas today. And for those of you who don't know, Hippie Hollow is a clothing optional lake. And when given the option, I will almost always get naked. female human body. This is a naked body! I have one. Yesterday in Austin, Texas was about 90 degrees and very sunny and today it is about 60. I'm a little chilly but I'm gonna tough it out because everything is better when you're naked. Almost everything. Being naked is not a sexual thing for me. It's a freedom thing. Uh, I've been this way ever since I can remember. In high school I was known as Naked Lady in some circles. Just at the drop of a hat, take off my clothes. It's always just good fun being naked. I take every opportunity I can get to be naked. Okay. So I really forgot what I was talking about here. Last week on my blog, A Werewolf, I posted the first chapter to a novel I'm writing called Strip Pole Therapy. Um, it's a beautiful chapter and it's accompanied by a beautiful topless pinup shoot of me. I was expecting some backlash certainly because the internet is a is an upsetting place <laughs> Just to be honest. I ended up receiving a lot of positive feedback more positive than negative um, And I'm very grateful for all my supporters and all the people who are rooting me on. I did run into some negative feedback though, But in a very surprising place actually one of the communities I'm involved in is the polyamorous community. People in the polyamorous community tend to be very open-minded, uh, very communicative, uh, problem-solving, all the things that come with the challenges of having multiple partners or, you know, a, an alternative lifestyle. People who are used to thinking outside of the box. People who understand what it's like to feel judged. Surprisingly, where I ended up running into negative feedback was in this polyamory community that I'm in online. To make a long story short, some people felt that it was inappropriate to post pictures of the naked female body, even though it was tagged as not safe for work, and even though the, the cover was totally appropriate. Be that as it may, um, it really upset me. For the rest of the week, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I don't like the term not safe for work, NSFW. I frequently refer to it as not safe for wussies. And there's a good reason for that. And you know, I can see the purpose of labeling something not safe for work, you know, just to be professional at your job and to stay on task mostly. I feel like marking things as not safe for work isn't just about trying to maintain professionalism though. I feel like it's gained a reputation as being offensive material, or upsetting material, or pornographic material. And quite frankly, that's silly. You do realize that you and everyone in your office are naked underneath all those clothes. This is the human body. We all have one. Mm. Burr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the things I do for my wolf pack! Ah! What I'm really here to do today is to challenge the notion that nudity is offensive in any way. As animals, as human beings, we each have bodies. It's a body. It's a body. Your dog has a body. Your pet spider has a body. What I'm here to do is to free the female body from the perception that anything about your naked self, your nipples, your breasts, your vagina, your butt, there's not a drop of shame in that. It's a body. You're born with it. We all have one. Let it be. Enjoy it. Celebrate it. You don't have it forever. I have notes somewhere in here. Okay, 
Maybe this will make some more sense now that I have my notes. <laughs> I'm a much better writer than I am speaker, so there's a reason that I put my thoughts on paper most of the time. This is my body. There are many like it, but this one is mine. My body is my best friend. It is my life. Without my body, I am useless. And without me, my body is useless. My body is human as I am human. It is my life. Thus, I will learn my body as a lover. I will learn its strengths and its weaknesses. I will learn its parts and accessories. I will learn its sights and its barrel. I will love my body. 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 Because I was born naked, without a drop of shame on my skin. No one can say my breasts offend. No one can say any part of me is sin, because I am just as pure and as beautiful as I was on the day that I met my mother. Freedom is not just for the infants and children. Freedom doesn't have an expiration date. Age has no bearing on my body's right to exist until the day that I die. My body has a right to be here. My body has a right to take up space. My body has the right to fresh air and to sunlight and to cold breezes and warm breezes and ocean water and lake water and whatever else I decide to do with it. My body can do it. I have the right. I have rights. My body has rights. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, I'm gonna die doing this. I'm standing on the edge of a cliff for my wolf pack and I'm gonna die naked. I hope I die naked. This is what I came here to say. My nipples are not against the law. My vagina is more powerful than your little black box. Oh, there's a bug in my hair and I can't get it out. He's like caught in there. I can hear him buzzing, but I can't, I can't find him. I hope he doesn't sting me. Motherfucker. Okay. I think he's gone. Let's get back to my boobs. My body creates and sustains human life. My body creates and sustains human life. My body creates and sustains human life. My body creates life. Get all creepy on you. But time and time again, oh, let me fall. Let me fall while I'm talking. If history has taught us anything, it's that censorship breeds ignorance. We are allowed to speak. We're allowed to say what's on our hearts. We're allowed our individual truths, and we're allowed to be different. There is no one way to do anything. The success of our species, of any species, is dependent on genetic variability, diversity. It makes us stronger. It gives us more tools to work with. How different are we? How strong of a species are we? The more differences we have, more options, more ways to survive, more culture, the more tools available to us biologically. That's how species thrive, those who can adapt to change. That's a quick way to die, is to not accept change. Because that's what life is. A better word for life is change. Let's get used to it. People change, things change, minds change, opinions change, laws change. Religion changes, and that's a good thing, because when you stop changing, you stop growing. When you stop growing, you're just waiting to die. Hmm. Anyways, back to my boobs. <laughs> Here you go. If the sight of my naked human body makes you feel angry, afraid, or ashamed, if you want to cover me up or call me names, take a step back and examine your beliefs. Are they born of love or are they born of hate? Are they your beliefs in the first place? Don't you know you're naked under all those clothes? 
If the human body is inherently wrong, then all seven billion of us are defective criminals, as well as every other living organism that doesn't have clothes on. It's nonsense! It's nonsense! Use your brains! Use your brains! Don't let society make opinions for you. Don't let society make decisions for you. Don't let society tell you what your life can or can't be. This is your life. This is your body. This is your time here. It doesn't last very long. We need to teach ourselves how to be critical thinkers. And we need to teach our children how to be critical thinkers. Not to just accept whatever they're told, but to think about it and decide if they agree. We need to adopt a culture of tolerance and acceptance. Not a culture where everyone is the same, where everyone agrees. That's not the point. The point is to see past our differences and celebrate our differences. Because war is not caused by differences. War happens when we fear our differences. Blah, 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 blah. You want more boob? Who wants more boob? Do you want more boob? Do you want more boob? Okay. Okay. Look at them bounce! Look at them bounce everywhere! Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy! Boom, 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 boom! Boinga, 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 boinga. Oh, they're heavy. <laughs> I am completely entertaining myself at this point. Dur, dur, dur. Look what I can do with my ears! Do, 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 do. Ta da! And here is my beautiful head with my beautiful brain which I use to make decisions about my body and my life. Because both of them are mine. Both of them are mine. Oh my gosh, I have to warm up for a second. <laughs> I gotta be honest. Did not really want to do this. <laughs> it was not easy to get naked in front of a camera and then share that with the entire internet. It wasn't easy. I almost didn't do it, but hopefully I'll be glad that I did. <laughs> One of my favorite quotes from Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert is, um, it's simple, it's three words. It's fear, so what, fear. So what? Fear! So the fuck what? Everybody's scared. I have insecurities, just like everybody else. I know my faults much better than you do. That's for sure. But the thing is, we are all naked. We're all naked under these clothes. We're all humans. We're all animals. We have a lot of the same struggles. We have much more in common than we do in difference. That's important. It's important to remember that everybody is struggling with something. Fear is natural. It's okay to be afraid. Rumi said, don't move the way fear makes you move. Don't move the way fear makes you move. When I'm afraid of something, I don't go the other way. I go towards it. Oh, gar, 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 gar. Gar, 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 gar. I think it's in the 50s now. There's no way it's 60 degrees out here. <laughs> okay. Pay attention to the things that make you afraid. Pay attention. Go towards them. Go towards the things that scare the shit out of you. Because that's how you're going to grow. You're not going to grow in your comfort zone. You're not going to expand. And I've dedicated my life and my blog and my art to expansion. Expanding the mind and the heart and the human consciousness. We can change. There's people that tell you human nature this, human nature that. No, this is learned behavior and it can be changed. We can determine what kind of world we would like to function in. Do you want more war? Do you want more prejudice? Do you want more reasons to lock your door at night? I don't. That's bullshit. We can become something much greater. I know we can because I can become something greater and I can have courage and bravery 
and I can face the unknown, and I can ask questions and think critically, and I'm blessed for it. If we seek to understand each other, we will find only blessings, and it will take time. It's a long road. It's not easy. There's a lot of uncomfortable conversations, uncomfortable situations. Go easy on yourself. Be patient. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I have a message for Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg and YouTube and Instagram and all the other social media platforms that are so important in connecting us together in today's culture. Yeah. I mooned the internet! I'm gonna do it again! Right there! That was an intelligent thing to say and do. Mooning the internet, take two. I guess what I'm trying to say is what am I trying to say? Just let me do what I want, and I'll let you do what you want, and we'll learn from each other. Burr, 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 I can't think when I'm this cold. I can't think I'm so cold. I love my body. I love being naked. I love being naked. Ja, 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 ja. Da, 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 da. Come on, ladies, God wouldn't have given you maracas if you weren't supposed to shake them. <laughs> I'm three years old, I swear to God. I'm gonna wrap this up. Mm. <sighs> if you'd like to learn more about me, Lady Talise Bell, and my mind, and my heart, and my spirit, and the things that I care about, please visit my blog at www.iamawerewolf.blogspot.com. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for looking at my naked human body. It's mine and I love it. I hope you love it too. But more importantly, I hope you love your own body. <laughs> well, at least my nipples are hard. I guess that's a good thing, right? Hashtag, at least my nipples are hard. Hashtag, free the nipple. Hashtag, free the body. Hashtag, free the human. Yours truly, Lady Talise Bell. Woohoo! Free the nipple! Okay, you wanna see my boobs one more time? Zzzz. Sorry, it's not safe for work. Ah ah ah! That's not safe for work! Uh, oh my gosh! Uh, it depends on how many nipples each person has. Like one person may have only one or none or three. I don't know. All right. That's a hard question. It is. I mean, it's, but basically, you were over maybe two thousand. Hoping. Hoping. Not, it's okay. We okay. have like two thousand and one. Okay. Yeah, who's that one that's either got one or three? It might be you. No, I'm pretty sure I got two. Okay. I'll show you later. All right, that'd be great. We're having a topless movement where everyone is sitting down with their tops off, both men and women, just to show that we can normalize the female breasts. I have my nipples covered, and like women are theirs, because it's kind of like, it's double standard, and I don't think that really makes sense. I don't need, feel the need to go shirtless, so it doesn't affect me in that sense, but the law itself is just a representation of how women are dressed by the laws of our country. I'm trying to show breasts in a non-sexual sense, because one of the reasons we constantly think that it's about sex is that you generally only see nudity on a female if it's a sex if it's in porn, if it's, you know, erotic art or whatever. I feel like we've been hiding our breasts for too long and allowing society to over-sexualize our, our nipples. And it doesn't have to be a sexual thing. I can walk around and it be perfectly normal. And by doing this, we're allowing everyone the chance to be normal. I just want to be part of the activity, you know? And it's, really, it's a unique experience, it really is. Yeah. I haven't seen anything like this ever in my life, so. I, I don't like judge, I'm not judging anyone differently, like, so what if they're topless, like? <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
like saying, like 70 years ago, even men's nipples were sexualized, you know, and we're at a time now where, you know, we're, we're seeing that there is equality among everyone. What do they think is going to happen? Do they think we're just going to start just, having sex or something? Like, they're just very curious. But yeah. my question is, I mean, how do you think people could misinterpret this movement? And what do you say to that? Um, I don't know how anyone could really misinterpret this. the world into like I guess nudists and normal or clothists or whatever and that's not how it is it's just free expression of what you want if I don't want to be nude it should be fine I have people that support my videos I also have a lot of people who always say oh you're only doing it for attention you're exploiting yourself blah 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 and to me it's more indicative you say that right of their upbringing and what they think upset or threatened when we say that men oppress. But the reality of the situation is there are oppressing groups and there are groups that are being oppressed. And if you are a member of the oppressing group, it doesn't mean you act actively participate in the oppression, but your privilege guarantees you certain things that help with the oppression of people. I think that it shows um, a lot of solidarity with the females that are here, for men to be here as well. But the thing is, like, there's so many guys here right now that are shoeless, and like the brain doesn't even, whatever, it's so used to it. So I would so totally say that guys should be involved, but you know, obviously, always be respectful, don't make lewd comments, don't stare, don't like grab, even if it's your girlfriend, don't grab her boots in front of people because that's reinforcing the whole, uh, would you be okay with your daughters doing this in the future? If they're doing it for good reasons like this, yeah. If they're going out to the beach and just, well, maybe I'd be a little bit questionable, but then it's their choice. Uh, <laughs> it's like definitely a tough question. I mean, I hope my parents are not watching this, but like, from like a parental perspective, kind of like what Andy Moss said in her interview, it's kind of like, embrace what, embrace what your mama gave you. My parents are awesome. My parents are very supportive and, you know, they, they would rather me be happy than, you know, constantly living in fear. If everyone was the same, obviously it wouldn't, this wouldn't even be a big deal at all. And, and some, I mean, some girl came up to me and, or some, some girl saw someone taking a picture and asked me, like, why are you taking a picture of me? You have to delete it. Uh, it kind of didn't make sense to me because the only reason that you want her to delete that photo is because of the way things are. Like, and if things weren't that way, it wouldn't even matter if anyone took any sort of pictures of anyone. If you're trying to desexualize the nipples and the breasts, then is it then okay to stare and touch and... <laughs> I think that really depends on the circumstance and the people. At my parties, Jackie, we're, we're not Jackie. exactly um, polyamorous, but we're not, we don't have these very strict boundaries. And like, my friends want to let them, want to squeeze my boob, I'm like, okay, go ahead, like, I don't care. But that has nothing to do with the top quality. That's just, we're all very comfortable. I want to grab his dick, I grab his dick. Like, it's really not, that sounds really wrong and sexual, but it's, <laughs> it's a cuddling thing, I swear. But you're also not supposed to touch anyone without asking. Not touch. <laughs> Definitely not touch. I mean, you guys can't touch our nipples. I mean, that would be a little bit awkward. You know? Exactly. <laughs> well, we're guys. Guy to guy. <laughs>
there's a bit of a betrayal I feel with some of my fellow uh, cohorts here, you know. Uh, many people willing to make themselves uncomfortable and go topless and be around topless folks, but they're not willing to stand up and say that somebody's life matters, that a black person's life matters. So, even if it is no longer law, I probably won't go topless very often. But again, the fact that it's there is there. So if you could free another part of the body, what would it be? My butt cheeks. Definitely. <laughs> I guess a lot of people are going to free the belly.